Today on Mead Mythbusters, we're gonna see if there's a difference between fermenting in a glass carboy or a fermentation bucket. Let's get started. Hey, this is Man Made Mead. I'm excited to share another Mead Mythbusters with you. Today, we're seeing if there's a difference between fermenting, like I said, in our glass carboy versus a bucket. So, um, Theoretically, there should be no difference in the fermentations, meaning there should be no taste difference, there should be no performance difference um, in this environment because they're gonna be fermenting at the exact same temperature with the exact same recipe, the same gravity, everything should be the same. But I do have a feeling that there is a taste difference between the two. So what I have here is the same exact mead recipe. This is a gallon of you know my must, which is, I'll tell you the base recipe, it is 2.8 pounds of orange blossom honey, um, roughly about like 0.75 gallons of water, and then um, I'm putting in two grams of Lauvin EC1118 yeast. I have them right here in front of me. They are rehydrating currently. So uh, I, I chose two grams because one is enough for one gallon, but I'm gonna make sure that they both have two just to give them enough advantage. I don't need five grams of yeast. I like the Lavin EC1118 because it, it does a really great job with traditionals. Um, it does a great job in general of fermenting. It picks up well, it has a vast temperature range. Um, it's just a good yeast for this test. So the gravity, starting gravity for our mead right here, is 1.080, meaning we have the chance for about a 10 point, uh, roughly 2% uh, mead, or ABV mead, which the EC1118 that goes up to 18% will chew through. Let's start this test. I, I took this must out of here. I made one big batch of must and then split it up, so they are exactly the same. Let's go ahead and pitch our yeast in here. Uh, they've been rehydrating for about 10 minutes. So there's our two grams there. And here are our two grams here. There we go. Uh, I will put my lid on here in a second. A couple quick notes. One quote advantage of fermenting in a bucket is that you can put more mead in than just the standard one gallon so that when you rack over you end up with one gallon. The one problem with this right here, even though they're the same recipe and same amount, is that um, when you ferment in a gallon like this you, you lose some mead to sediment. So let's see if there's a taste difference after the primary. I'm going to throw my, air, my airlocks on these and label them and we're going to see what the difference is. Here we go. And we're back after the end of the primary for this test. So they both fermented the exact same. They finished at the exact same ABV. So both of them started at 1.080 and they both leveled out to 1.000. So they fermented very efficiently. There was no difference in fermentation time. I think that's important to note. So uh, there is a difference though, however, in the volume that I got from each one. This is the bucket version. And the one thing coming out of a bucket, it was a little harder for my auto siphon to get completely to the bottom of the container. Therefore, meaning I had a little less mead in the end. This has just a little bit more. This was the one that came out of the carboy. Um, the pro of fermenting in a bucket, or one of the pros, I should say, is that you can always put more mead in than you need so that you end up with what you want. So for example, if I wanted one gallon of mead, I could start with 1.2 gallons in a bucket after the primary, rack into a gallon container like this, and I'll end up with a gallon in total. So that's one pro. I'm not going to taste test them yet. I'm going to wait about two weeks and let them both settle down, let any yeast, anything else that needs to settle at the bottom, go ahead and do that and rack them if I need to. And then we will go ahead and of course do a taste test and see if there's a taste difference between fermenting in our bucket and in our carboy. We're back with the container test. It has now been roughly about two and a half weeks, almost three weeks since I last did anything with these and I let them set you know, I rack them over one extra time to try to get off any extra sediment, so they've had that. Um, here's what we're doing. I am gonna taste test them blind. 
Um, not actually blind this way, but I don't know what's what. I have four glasses here. I have two glasses of the carboy version, which is this one right here. And I have two glasses of the bucket and they're mixed in. So I wrote on a label, I'll show on the screen right now. And then I, on the other, other side of it, I put like Sharpie so I can't see when I drink, I can't actually see what is on there. So um, you'll know here in a second what's what, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix them up even more just to really try and make this more true, as true as possible. So let me mix them up real fast. Okay, so I think I'm a smart person, but I don't think I'm smart enough to remember everything um, where I moved what. So now let's see if I can tell a difference between the two, having no idea what I'm actually tasting. So let's start over here. And again, I don't know right now, of course, at the end of this, I'll you know, see what's what, but uh, you know what's what. So here is this one right here. Uh, it's got a nice honey, uh, presence, a floral note, um, definitely a little bit of the uh, a tropical side of the orange blossom. Ooh, I like that. Very warm, still young. Um, it definitely needs some time to mellow out for the uh, flavors of the honey, of course, to just become the main presence. Right now I'm getting a little bit of a, a tannic value. Um, it's also uh, Interesting. Yeah, I, um, it's very tannic, more tannic than I'm used to with a traditional like this. Okay, I don't know. Let's try this one now. Ooh, that smells different. Oh, or does it? Yeah, that smells a little different than this one. Just slightly. This is also telling if this is the same one, or if these two are the same, then this is embarrassing. Okay. Very similar tasting. They have the same finish, same tannic value. You get the floral notes. Um, I'm not tasting a huge difference between these two. Maybe, I think the nose partially is because this one had more mead in, in it than this one. So I'm not tasting a difference between those. Um, let me grab some water so I can cleanse my palate too. Okay, moving on to this one. Oh, I'm gonna try and smell them too first. I do think that this has more of a bright fruity note than this one. This one's more uh, mellow. It has, it's not as um, honey smelling. And I think they're all, I mean, they're pretty much the same volume. So this one seems brighter maybe. I mean, it's very close to the other ones. Yeah, it's still very similar. Um, okay. Last one. Okay, that one, these two taste very, very similar. This one, they're, very, they're um, this one's less fruity smelling. This one's very bright, like tasting. It has the same, ooh, has the same smell as these two though. Okay, well, I will say this. They taste all very, very similar. Um, if anything, the only difference that I've noted so far is maybe some, brightness from the honey, but it's been so minuscule that I don't necessarily believe that there's a huge difference. Uh, I'm gonna do one little pass through and then I will, you know, give my conclusive results. Yeah, okay, they taste, they're all just so similar and I know I'm tasting them back to back so I could get, be getting residual flavors and whatnot. I don't think there's a huge difference. Um, let's, let's see, okay, well, actually first, let me, let me take a guess because I think that could be interesting. So one idea I have, one mis or one conception, whatever, is that I think that you might retain more bright flavors in a carboy. So if I were to guess, I think that um, this one, and again, this is where I could look like a real idiot. I think these two were the brightest tasting and this could all be, you know, my brain playing tricks on me, but I think these two are the brightest. So I think these are carboys and I think that these two right here are the buckets. But let's find out. First one here, carboy, okay. Oh, that's a bucket one, okay. So this is a bucket down here. Carboy on that one. Bucket, interesting. Oh, I didn't, I did not plan that, by the way. These, <laughs> I, I mixed them around. So uh, so we have carboy, carboy, bucket, bucket. 
Now, again, there's not a huge noticeable difference between them. It's very, very minuscule. In fact, I'm really trying to search, I think, for those flavor differences. And in reality, um, if I was not conducting this test, I don't think I would necessarily even searching for differences. Therefore, I probably would not have noticed a difference. So my conclusive results of this, I understand I could have brought someone else in for this, and this test, I think that, um, no, it, it's very clear. Carboy versus bucket fermenting, there's not a huge difference. And uh, the main difference is the vessel you're fermenting in. The one pro, in my opinion, to fermenting in a bucket is that, I've said this before, you can start with more mead and end up with enough for a gallon. Both of these, um, are gonna sit for a little while longer. They have some headspace on them. I'm gonna put some marbles or something in them to fill up that headspace. And then I will probably do something else like uh, add maybe some extra honey, something to bolster that. I don't necessarily know if I wanna change them out of, um, or you know, away from a traditional, but I'll find out. So thank you for uh, listening, watching this test. This has been really interesting so far. And um, I, I do believe that there's no Let's say that uh, fermenting in a carboy is 100%. Let's just, whatever, let's say that that. Fermenting in a bucket is 99%. It is like right at the same span. So I would not be too worried about what you're fermenting in. The thing I would worry about is aging. Make sure you're aging in glass and you're not aging in plastic. So thanks for watching. I've enjoyed doing this test. I have other tests on the channel and lots of content for you to watch. So I hope you will check those things out and I'll see you guys next time for another video. So with that, cheers.